Good evening. Good evening. Bon soirée. Buenas noches. Fez gama to all of you fine members and friends of the St. Andrew Society of Montreal. I'm Guthrie Stewart, and I have the honor and privilege of acting as ball chair this year for what is a unique, and we can only hope, once in a lifetime event for the St. Andrew Society of Montreal, our 2020 virtual unball. So a huge welcome to all of you. We know there are likely over 400 of you with us this evening. Of course, a huge turnout from Montreal, including our local sister societies, the St. Patrick, Austrian, and German societies. But this year, if there is one big positive of the situation we find ourselves in, it's our ability to welcome guests from both near and afar, including sister societies and friends from across Canada, starting on the East Coast, from Picto, Nova Scotia, home of the good ship Hector that brought the Frasers to Canada, Moncton, New Brunswick, many from our nation's capital, Ottawa, Kitchener, Waterloo, and on west, we have a few from Calgary, Alberta, and also now British Columbia. And from the United Kingdom, we welcome the Caledonian Society of Sheffield, the Harrow and District Caledonian Society and the Burns Club of London. And, and on top of that, we welcome numerous participants from the United States, joining us from Iowa, Wisconsin, North Carolina. I was just told Texas has joined. And we have regular, regular participants, regular live participants in our ball who joined us from Los Angeles, California. Happy Thanksgiving to our American friends. E, bienvenido, amigos en México, for society friends joining us from Mexico City. One of our members, when he saw the program today, thought he was being clever in asking me whether our, our UN, our UNBALL, is in support of the United Nations. Well, I think we've come close to doing that as well. And I mustn't forget a group of students joining us from Belleville, Ontario, who managed to convince their teacher this would be a worthwhile educational event. And so, speaking of education, and we'd like to have a little participation this evening, let's start with a poll and some audience participation. Here's our first question. How many St. Andrew's balls have you attended? And while we're compiling the results, I'll just carry on. I'd like to make a special mention and thanks to a very important partner and supporter, the Scottish Affairs Canada, represented by Kerry Dixon. Hopefully you also caught some of the video pre prelude called Primordial Waters Revisited a production to be featured during the current Scottish Winter Festival. Produced by Cryptic, a Glasgow-based multimedia art house, it showcases, as you would have seen, innovative Scottish art production by two artists, Heather Landers and musician Alex Smoke. This video is meant to reflect the vitality of the Scottish coast, the ebb and flow of the tides, and, and a swirling pattern of mists and water. The effect is meant to be restor restorative, mesmerizing and, and meditative. And so if you missed it, I would encourage you tomorrow morning to take yourself to the website, scotland.org, to get the full appreciation of that restorative effect. Let me know when we have the results of the poll so we can, oh, there we go. So you can see we have quite an experienced group. We have 11% uh, that have been more, more than 20 balls. So this, this augurs very well for next year when we can all be together in person. And now, there you go, if you, ha you have to close the poll. Now, now, of course, we won't be able to fully replicate the great and wild fun we have at our traditional events. But we have done our best to pull together some of the best elements of our St. Andrew's Ball to share with you this evening. Yes, as you've already seen, there will be piping. By the way, by the way, our piper is not just any piper. Our piper, Cameron Stevens, is the current senior pipe major at our National Defense Army headquarters in Ottawa. And yes, we will have Scottish dancing, which, pay attention, will require your full participation later. And yes, there will be toasts and royal greetings. And I'm happy to report that even though we couldn't share a meal together this year, 
Many of you have been able to sit down to a hearty meal of haggis and other Scottish delicacies delivered fresh today from our friends at Muir's Bakery. I can say this is a highlight of the year in our family. Who's, who says that Scotland is not, not known for fine cuisine? A small regret and one disclaimer as we get going. The small regret, sad as it may seem, is that we've dramatically shortened some of the remaining speeches. The disclaimer, as you know, we're at the mercy of the gods of the internet and the gods of your home Wi-Fi. So bear with us. If we disappear or freeze up, add a loyal toast to your agenda, and hopefully we'll be back soon. And if the trouble is at your end, then you'll either have to deal with your teenagers or run around the house to find better reception. So with that, sit back, charge your glasses, get on your dancing shoes, and lassies and laddies, away we go with our 2020 St. Andrews Society of Montreal Unballed. 